Hello, you're watching Tulip Swift today. I'm back with another video. I don't know why I said that. I never say that. Um, I bought a ton of stuff from the Taylor Swift store. I mean, I bought a lot, but I only spent like 50 bucks, which is actually pretty good. I had like 15% off and then I got bundles and I got a ton of clearance t-shirts. So I'm just gonna show you all that today. It came with like the reputation like packaging and I've ordered like one thing before and I've like never gotten that. So I was really excited so I put it on my wall. <laughs> I like smoothed it out and put it on my wall so it's a little bit extra. But actually no wait, let's film over there. It spent like 20 minutes setting up this shot. And I feel like it's still crooked. If it's crooked, just like please ignore it. I'm having a breakdown. As you can see, I hung up the freaking packaging paper. I'm also wearing my new Betty and Veronica shirt. So all of the old, I think not all of them, but most of the old lithographs are 99 cents and they're pretty small. Um, I was thinking about getting the Speak Now one, but I ended up getting red and I kind of, ooh, twinning. I kind of wish I got the Speak Now one. This one's really pretty, but it's just a little bit simple. But yeah, I think I can even hang that up right here. I'm gonna get a piece of tape. So anyway, that lithograph was 99 cents. So I do another order, I'm definitely gonna get the Speak Now one. That's also 99 cents. I think they were all originally $5, which is kind of ridiculous for how big they are because it's not like a poster. Besides like collecting them, I think that's the only reason, but I just got it because it's 99 cents. I'm wearing my Look What You Made Me Do socks. These were $10, but I got them with the puffy stickers for 15. Anyways, I just really wanted the puffy stickers by themselves. Those are $10. So for 15, you got stickers and socks for that package. So I thought that was worth it. I'm probably gonna lose these socks, but I do like them because they're each different. They're not the same sock. And it looks like I've only worn them once and it looks like it's already getting a little bit of wear. I don't know if you can see that, but like the black is almost like silver. It has all the things that are on the patches and the stickers. I don't know, I really don't have use for socks because like who's gonna see them? And like, it'd be cool to wear to the tour or whatever, but fun fact, I wore um, Poison Ivy socks the tour like the DC super villain because of the line I once was poison ivy but now I'm your daisy from don't blame me so that was like a little inside joke with myself because like I was the only one who knew I was wearing those socks so those are these I really like the color scheme they're very reputation this entire era I kept saying that I was gonna buy the patches because they're so cute I never did and now they're sold out I have tour patches from Columbus and Detroit but I don't have like the original like reputation patches so I hope they restock those but they haven't restocked like anything yet. Also I wish I got the white crew neck with all the different tour outfits cause at first, cause I really liked that design and I was hoping they would release it on like other pieces cause like a white crew neck just doesn't work for me like unless it was like maybe cropped or something or I had a hood but it's just is like not cute enough but I love the design but anyway so that went out that got sold out in one day, so like now if it gets restocked, I'm definitely buying it. On the back, it just says, look what you made me do. It says Taylor Swift, and then these are all the puffy stickers. So I like this because these are like all of the patches, and the patches came in two different sets, and I think one of them had rep and one of them had the snake, so that made it like hard to choose. They still have like Meredith and Olivia patches, but I don't think anyone cares about those. Oops, sorry, that's tea. I don't know where I'm gonna put these yet. I don't really want puffy stickers on my laptop. Stickers are hard because especially when you pay like 10 bucks for them, you can't just like put them anywhere, you know? I love the snake. I love how unique this snake is. So when I like draw it, it's not just any snake. It's like the Taylor Swift snake because it does like the thing. It kind of looks like an S, but like barely, like I don't think it was on purpose. All right, let's get to some t-shirts. I got three t-shirts. Um, I basically just got the ones that I thought were cute. I have an obsession with Speak Now tour shirts because that was my first concert ever um, in 2011. And I remember, I remember picking out a t-shirt so clearly. I remember all the choices. I remember which ones were sold out. And I got a medium because I wanted it to be big because I wanted to wear it for my whole life. And I got the brown back to December shirt that's very, very worn out now. So I'm really obsessed with all the Speak Now um, designs. And there's the one where she's like in the woods or whatever that like I really want that's like been sold out forever. It's just so lame, I wish they printed more, but they're not going to. That's my preface for this shirt. It's her dancing. It's so pretty. I remember Selena Gomez wears this one, I think, when she goes to the Speak Now tour. What's really nice about this one is the hand hearts on the back are so pretty. Detroit, Michigan is right here. I feel like she also played, yep, 
Yep, in 2011, she also played Grand Rapids, Michigan. She has not played since, but it's just kind of a cool concept because I don't think she would do that now, do a Grand Rapids show now. So I think we, a lot of us can agree we didn't really like the Red Tour merch. It wasn't that good. I got the black tee. At the, when I was at the arena, I got the black tee. I don't have it with me, but it's the one where she's on stage. And I'm really glad I got that one because you can't really find it anymore. But I ordered this one. It's really simple, but that's why I like it. And I like, it's just the font is so big and it says Taylor Swift so big. So I really like that. And it has the dates on the back. And what I didn't see online is that they're like lined. There's like a little white line that goes to each date, which is kind of cool or whatever. Was the Nashville show the last show? That must have been so lit. And then I got another Speak Now shirt. So this one's really cute because it's just, it looks like little like lights or something. Um, or the cities and then the dates are in white. So there's that. Um, and then on the back it has the infamous Speak Now hands and then the original Taylor Swift font. And this was on the Speak Now CD. So this is really why I like this one. It's kind of like overexposed, but... Um, it's so pretty. Why don't we do these pictures of the fan? I'm like, we put our hands together and do 13s, but we have yet to recreate the Speak Now. Well, I mean, I'm sure some people have. Yeah, this one feels just like my Back to December shirt when it was brand new, and I'm just, I'm really happy with them. So those are the three shirts, and I'm not done yet. I'm telling you, 50 bucks gets a long way when you know what you're doing on store.taylorswift.com. Another thing I got and why I really, really was excited to place this order was the picture frames. It's been so up in the air of like what's going to sell out on the store, so I really didn't want to waste any time. They were each $15, so I didn't get both. I got the um, New Year's Day picture frame. It comes in this box. It has little um, stickers with like a champagne bottle. This one's like broken because I already opened it. It just says Swift everywhere. I don't know what I'm going to use the box for, but I'm not going to throw it away. And so then the picture frame is very very, very small and I think they advertise that but in case you didn't know so there's 13 champagne bottles hold on to the memories they will hold on to you and I feel like that's such a nice tattoo but like I don't know if I'm ever gonna get tattooed so this is the perfect size for like the mini Polaroids and I have a few of those but like in my room at home. I don't have any Taylor related ones, um, but I definitely want to print something out. I think I want to print the one of me and Sophia hugging in Club Olivia and put it in here because we just like, especially me, I like look like I'm about to cry and that's just like perfect for this lyric. I got one more thing. I bought the patch for Columbus. Columbus is the city I got Club Olivia and rep room in and I could not let these get sold out. Like it's only $4.99. Like it's ridiculously big and I don't know. like. But I need like to like design a jacket to put these on, but I have the one from Detroit that I bought at the stadium. For so long they weren't selling this one online until like they ended up just like restocking all of them. I think they were like waiting till after the show was over. Anyways, I was really, really scared that I wouldn't get one of these, so I definitely, definitely wanted to spend my money on these. They're so big. Like again, I don't really know where I'm gonna put it right now. It's just like on my bulletin board. But I just didn't wanna like miss the chance to get it. The stadium, the posters are really pretty and I love that they have the cities in them. Honestly, I'm really, really tempted to buy the posters, but like I want the Columbus poster cause that's the city that like it happened to me in, but Detroit's like my home and I love it so much and it would be so beautiful to have a Taylor Swift poster with Detroit on it. And I just can't decide between them. I think I just wanna get the Detroit one cause I'm, obsessed with Detroit. Say nice things about Detroit. So I'm gonna try the shirts, but other than that, this is all I have for you. I don't know if this will go up on Monday. If it didn't, I'm so sorry. I just have a hard time like getting stuff done and um, I'm sorry if like the videos aren't what you usually want with them. I'm kind of planning on going back into like book reviews and like, but right now this is kind of all I can produce with the with kind of like what's going on in my life thank you for watching my videos thank you for leaving comments thank you for everything um if you want to talk to me again that's my twitter my instagram is also abby barnett 13 and um i post new videos every monday thank you so much for watching i love you so much bye